Finally, a new keyboard for Mac users. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I actually have a product that most Mac users are not gonna know about. Now I get sent tons of products all the time and a lot of them just don't make the cut because they're either, like I said, they're not interesting, they're not different. This one actually is, it kind of fills a void in the Mac accessories and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the Melgeek O2 keyboard and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in a second. Now Melgeek's actually been making keyboards since 2014, believe it or not. And what they claim is they said a ton of their, they have tons of veteran designers from DJI and Huawei and they've actually featured these in gaming tournaments and a whole bunch of other things. And they have really high reviews on Amazon as well. But still, a lot of Mac users have probably never heard of them. Okay, so Melgeek actually set out to create the perfect mechanical keyboard for your Mac. And I think they did a good job here. So what this is, is this is actually a 83 key, 75% mechanical keyboard. And they actually gave it the name O2. They said it's for productivity oxygen O2. You get the idea. But let's find out a little bit more about this and what makes this so different. Okay, they say this was actually born exclusively for Mac users, and uh, I think it was. Actually, the key layout they made exactly the same as a typical Mac keyboard. You don't get that from a lot of kind of crossover keyboards. Now, don't get me wrong, this can actually work with Windows and Linux. They actually even give you some keys, I'll show you some close-ups of that, where you can interchange the keys and switch it up to like a Windows keyboard. But they're saying specifically that this keyboard out of all of their brands and stuff, all of the keyboards that they create, this one was made specifically for Mac users to fill that void. Let me just show you some close-ups of the unboxing right here. Now, first of all, when it came to me, I mean, the box is really high quality. It's got a kind of a satin feel to it, so I was kind of impressed with the box. You can see it here on my desk as well. But overall, I'll show you some close-ups. Now, when I picked up the keyboard for the very first time and I actually held it, I was just shocked. It's actually really, really heavy, and we'll get into the weight and all that later. But I mean, it was just like a very substantial, compared to some other keyboards I've tried where you pick them up and they're all plastic, this is made with a whole bunch of different materials, which makes it really, really heavy, and it won't move on the desk, which is a really nice kind of first impression impression feature. Okay, we're going to be showing you some more pictures of it as I'm talking about this so you can kind of see everything involved with this because I think the design is really cool here. So we have, again, the Melgeek O2. It's going to be a tri-mode. We'll talk about what that means. Tri-mode, low-profile mechanical keyboard. So there's very few of these in the Mac market right now. And what this actually is, is you can see the design of it. So it's kind of a full white color, very minimalistic there. I think a lot of Mac users is going to appeal to them. It's also got a couple splash points as far as the enter keys blue and the escape keys orange over there. So it just pops. Also on the outside of it, you have kind of like a see-through, uh, I think it's like a plastic, um, polycarbonate maybe or something like that, but it's basically very tough. And uh, it's actually really cool because it kind of gives me vibes of like the old G3s, G4 computers back back way back in the day with Apple. So it kind of gives you that design language, but still it's more professional because it's, it's not overdone. So I really like that. Um, also on the very back of it, you do get a USB-C port and that's how you charge it. You can also connect through that if you want to do a wired connection. We'll talk about that later. But, um, and it's also got this little orange button here, which you can tie between the connection types or turn it off. But it's very minimalistic, like I said, and it appeals to a lot of Mac users. So the front of it has three little dots here, and what are those? There's three lights. One's a caps lock light. I think the middle one kind of, trying to think what that does, it tells you, I think, the charge level, and then the third one over here tells you, you know, which way you're connecting to it, like via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or just the wired connection. So overall, I mean, I, they nailed the design, right? It just looks really cool, and I think a lot of people are going to pick this up based on that. So I did. I mean, like definitely that was one of the things that caught me right away is it wasn't like some something crazy. It looks like it would go with the Mac or Mac maybe would actually design this, but still, you know, it's very functional also. Also really quickly, and I'll show you a quick picture, but I'm going to show you more later. It's actually a full backlit keyboard here. So there's a whole bunch of different modes you can kind of cycle through. And it's also got little accent lights on both sides, on both sides of the keyboard. And you can change the color, have them do different things, and actually just turn everything off if you want to. I think a lot of Mac users will actually do that. But if you want to add a little flair to this thing, it's super easy with the accents and all the different key colors and stuff that you can change. Not, not the caps, but the colors behind it you can change. So I think they nailed it. And, and they allow everything to be turned off, which is the key thing for people to just don't want that. All right, so here's some more pictures of this thing just to kind of show you what this is made out of. They said this is made from an aluminum alloy frame on it, and that gives it some of the weight and some of the heft here. It's also got a polycarbonate cover, or at least some of the plastic around it. And then it says it's got an ABS base. 
and then P, what is it, PBT keys, and we'll get into again what that means later. But overall, it's just really solid, and I think it said it's up to right around 650 grams in weight. And what that does is it holds the keyboard down when you're typing. There's no movement whatsoever. It feels really, really solid. In fact, if you turn it over on the back side, I'll show you pictures of this as well. But you can see back here, it's got these blue rubber feet that go on it, and that actually holds on the desk really well. Now you can actually, these are magnetically held in, and you can just hit this little, you know, hit one side of it, it'll pop them over, and you can actually place these over here. On different sides and what that does I'll show you pictures here is it props up your keyboard it goes from 3.5 degrees up to 5 degrees you know as far as your typing angle so it makes it easier to type on if you like the keyboard a little bit more propped up right Mac keyboards don't do that that well so this is really an easy keyboard to type on because of that and it's got those little kind of built-in features you know that are just kind of cool and uh, they look cool and nice and stuff like that you don't see the bottom of it too much right but either way I think it really works because it holds the keyboard tight when you're typing and there's no problems whatsoever now, another reason I love this keyboard so much, and I've tested a whole bunch of other ones claiming to work with Macs perfectly and stuff like that, this one actually does. So a lot of the other keyboards I've tested, they claim that they have a full functioning, you know, your function keys up here, your F keys, they always say that they're fully functioning, they work directly with Macs, but when you try them, they don't, they don't fully work with the Mac like they should. This one actually has been tested and designed to work fully, so all your function keys will work. So basically, if you use it for like, you know, pressing on the dictation button, do not disturb, spotlight, you know, searches, things like that, your volume up and down, all that kind of stuff will work perfectly with your function keys here. I've tested everything. It's flawless. So it's one of the few keyboards that can actually get that right, believe it or not, because a lot of the other keyboards are made for Windows, and then, you, you know, they have some Mac keys. This one's made for a Mac, and they have a couple Windows keys, so it's a little bit different. Okay, now, remember I said this is a tri-mode keyboard. What does that mean? Well, that means you can connect to it three different ways, and it was made with super low latency. So for a couple of reasons, I mean, there's almost no latency in typing. Also, when you want to wake up your Mac, it wakes up instantly, which a lot of other keyboards, again, that are made for Macs, they don't do that. There's usually a long delay and stuff like that. So this one solves that problem as well. The three ways you can connect here, you can do 2.5 gigahertz, I believe, wireless. That's one way. You can also do Bluetooth. That's a second way. Most people would probably do that. And there's also that USB-C on the back, which charges it, but also connects you via a wire so you can do all three different things like that it does come with a dongle for the wireless connection it looks like a little lego i'll show you my hand here and you can see it in there so it's kind of cool but overall that works flawlessly as well i've tried all three connection types and they nailed it so you, you know depending on what kind of computer you have and things like that should should be super easy to connect to um now a couple other things, we'll, we'll talk about all the specs at the very end, just kind of wrapping everything up, but this can connect to a whole bunch of different devices as well. I think like eight or nine different devices at once, which is a huge, huge plus, right, for these kind of keyboards. You don't have to actually, you know, disable it from one device and move it to the other one. I think it's got eight or nine devices you can connect to this at the same time, which works great, and it's really easy. I have all different Macs here connected to it, and it just changes seamlessly between them. So again, really good. Okay, now let's talk about the keyboard itself. I mean, this is the main thing everyone wants to know about. Is it actually a good keyboard to type on, right? Well, let me just show you some pictures first of all, and then we're gonna talk about exactly how I feel about it. So number one, this keyboard was made with a gasket structure, that's what they call it. It's a sandwich mounted design, and that's usually reserved for more premium keyboards. That's number one. So this is obviously in the premium keyboard kind of category. All right, that's number one. It integrates multiple elastic dampening materials like poron, switch pad foam, plate mounted cushioning, and then bottom poron, basically sound absorbing plates. So you get the idea where this is gonna be sound absorbing. And we'll talk about a little bit more what that means. All right, before we do that though, let's talk about the switches now here. This actually has custom kale sunlight linear switches for smooth travel. And you're gonna, that's a mouthful, but that's actually gonna make a little bit more sense here. They're basically hot swappable, pre-lubricated linear switches. And linear is kind of the key here. Uh, kale switches as well. And then basically keycaps are anti-oil oil and staining, so you can't really get oil on this thing or stain them very easily, even though they're white color, which is actually a big selling point there. And they say that they're actually way more quieter than Cherry MX. Let me see here, that's exactly what they said. So Cherry MX, which a lot of people are familiar with, these are gonna be have similar feel to them, but they're gonna be quieter. So let's listen really quickly to see how these sound. And again, this is what people buy a mechanical keyboard for and what Mac doesn't offer right now, or Apple. But you can hear this. Now I'm actually hitting that a little louder than I probably should be just so you can hear it. And I just wanted to make sure you would hear that. So, but I mean, when you type on it, it's really not that loud. It's not gonna wake up your neighbors or anything like that, right? So it's very comfortable and you can type long periods of time on this. Key travel's very good, but it's not too much. I mean, again, it's, it's a mechanical keyboard, but it's very, I'll show you some side profiles of it. 
it's just very you know low profile. So when you actually type, you know you're you're going to get a lot more key travel than the typical Mac keyboard, but not as much as a typical you know mechanical keyboard. You're going to be somewhere in between, and I think that's where you know this why this is going to be so attractive to a lot of people because you don't have to commit all the way to mechanical. This is kind of right in the middle of both. Okay, one thing actually too that I, that I was reading through all their you know, advertising and marketing, they're claiming, and I guess it's true, I mean, I've read a little bit about this. A lot of people like to now put these things on top of like their MacBooks and stuff and actually type on this keyboard versus their actual Mac keyboard. And they've actually developed this with the feet on the bottom so it sits perfectly flat on your Mac keyboards and it won't accidentally press keys or anything like that and doesn't wobble. That's what they were saying. So I'll show you some pictures of what people are doing with this, but it's good for that as well. And uh, like I said, you can go ahead and do your own research, but a lot of people are actually doing this, believe it or not, because they want a little bit better typing experience for long sessions. So why not? And I guess they made this specifically for that as well. Now, a couple other little features here, and then we'll talk about the backlighting, is the battery in this thing. It's really phenomenal. What they're claiming is about seven months at about eight hours a day. I obviously have only had this a few weeks now, so I can't test that for you. But so far, it seemed really good. They're saying it's a 2,500 milliamp, I guess, lithium battery, and it's got a low power mode as well. So if you turn the lights off and you don't have the lights going crazy at the highest power and stuff, you should very well be able to get that. So you're only going to be charging this thing a couple times a year. Again, another great selling point. Okay, so as far as the backlighting, I'm just gonna show you as I'm talking about this. It's got, it says it has seven backlight modes, which you can quickly basically show a bunch of different pre-programmed, you know, they can flash, they can do other things. You know, you get the idea, right? But you also can change the colors of them. They have a whole bunch of different preset colors. You can go in there as well and change all that to your heart's content. On both sides of the keyboard, like I mentioned before, it's got these accent colors, a little like LED lights. You can go ahead and change those to, you know, different, different modes and also different colors, depending on your mood and stuff like that. Again, I'm not one of those people I don't change it that much, but it is kind of fun to fool around with every once in a blue moon, um, but they're in there. So if you, that's important to you, the backlighting is usually for people working at night. It's, it can do that. It can also dim up and dim down. It gets really bright and it gets really low in case you want different like levels as far as you know affecting your battery as well. You got to keep that in mind. So I like how they gave you all the different levels in there and you can just totally customize it. Okay, so they also have something called the Hive app, and I'm going to show you my pic my screen over here. You can see it right here. This is where you're going to download this application from, and you go down here, and you can get the Mac version right down here. So definitely, I'll have a link in the video description to pick that up. Um, it's kind of hard to tell by the notes they give you here, but I'll have it in the description, and you go ahead and download the app, and then we're going to see what this app can do. Okay, so once you have the app all ready to go, it's going to come up on your screen over here. And here, your keyboard shows up in here after you have it connected. You can see the charge level here doing really well. I have it connected during Bluetooth. What this thing actually lets you do is here is once you're in here, you can go ahead and remap all the different keys. So depending on what you want to do, you can remap keys in here, which I don't, I don't mess around with because they all work perfectly out of the box. But if you want to do this for gaming or whatever you want to do, go in there and change it. Now, the lighting in here as well. Look at all these different settings for your lighting. You have all the different modes you can change. You have, uh, I think, 60 million colors, et cetera, something there's a color wheel you can do whatever you want with the colors very very easy you got advanced settings in here in case you want to change like the fn commands of your keys and set up you know various things you can do with each key it's all built into it you can do macros as well in here um, record macros and stuff really easily on the keyboard if that's important to you so I just wanted to show you this really quickly because it's all just built into this with the software if you want to do that. Again, me personally I don't touch that stuff it works perfect out of the box so but I just wanted to let you know it's available if you need it. Okay, so here's my kind of final review of this, even though I've only had it again for a few weeks. And why did I pick, why did I choose this one actually to show you guys out of all the products they sent me? Because this one's again different. There's not many low profile mechanical keyboards available in the Mac market and Mac accessories market. I think I know of one other one. I think it's by Sateki. This one actually I, I like. I mean, I just love the color of it. I love something a little bit different than everything else, just having that kind of silver design. So, I mean, you have to, you know, you have to like the aesthetics of it, right? It has to be for you, but it spoke to me. So I wanted to put it on there because I think they're at least they're trying right and they're making this into a mac specific keyboard where mac's a smaller part of the market so a lot of people don't do that they actually did it and i think they nailed it now while i can't do a long-term review of this because i've only had it for x number of weeks i can't tell if it's going to last three or four years or something now or how long the battery is going to last because that would be months and months in advance i can tell you my experience has been very positive with it and you know it's not that i you know i i for me, it's perfect just because of the design. It really speaks to me, and I love everything about it. So I hope it does to people out there as well. Now, if you look over here on Amazon, you can pick it up right now. It's $129, and it's got a 10% coupon, so we're talking around like $117 right now. You can look for sales and stuff like that. Now, do I think that price is worth it? 
Definitely. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's a more advanced keyboard. It's, it's, you're going to, you're paying for what you're getting here. It's not going to be a really super cheap keyboard like you get for 30 or 40 bucks. I think it is worth the money. You obviously have to justify the cost yourself. They sell here on Amazon. You can also check out their website. I'll have links to all this stuff in the, in the video description. Their website's got a ton of additional information on the keyboard as well. And uh, again, you can check out, you know, the Mel Geek main page on Amazon as well. It talks about all their different products. If you look at all their products, so they're all highly rated in the, in the high fours. So that's kind of what got me excited about trying it as well as like some of their past models and they're all kind of high quality but they've all had really good reviews on them so I figured this has to be very similar and sure enough it was. Okay so we're going to wrap this up but before I do that people always ask me well what came in the box? It came with these like really cool bee stickers I guess this is kind of their little mascot here and then beyond that um, it came obviously with this very nice box but it came with the directions a very quick setup guide the keycaps a keycap remover and a charging cable, and that's about it, right? Very, very basic stuff. So it's really hard to keep going on a keyboard. How much, how long of a video can do in a keyboard? Well, like I said, they nailed it here. Definitely check it out. You know, it's got my initial positive review here, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. I make all product videos like this, but I try to find these kind of hidden gems out there, and we will talk to you in the next one. Peace.